When you get home from the grocery store and you open that clamshell of blueberries and you see the blue goodness inside, how do you know what you're getting is quality? Well, there are farm families at the other side of the process where they're grown to ensure that. In Florida, it's William G. Rowan Sons. They've been at it for generations. Two days they'll be in New York and three days they'll be on a store shelf somewhere. The blueberries are on the move this morning at the William G. Rowe and Sons Packing House, not far from Orlando. And they'll keep moving through a short six-week blueberry season in Florida, where the Rowe family will pack more than a million and a half pounds of these tiny bundles of dark blue sweetness. At this pace, it's hard to tell who is keeping up with whom the computerized machines, or the workers. As soon as they're packed, they'll go into the cooler and be put in front of a 35,000 CFM fan, pulls them down in about 45 minutes to room temperature, and they're ready to go out the door. We try to stay sold out the day ahead of time, so the berries we're packing today will be on a truck tonight, or at latest tomorrow. If that customer out there uh, ever gets their package of blueberries and they say, hey, that feels a little light, you can say, no, no, hold on now. We're trying to get within three grams of the exact legal requirement for each one of these size clamshells. This machine can do up to 180 cups a minute. We slow it down a little bit to keep it more accurate, and you'll see we're doing 131 cups a minute. And they're tracked back to the grower by barcode. Um, and a little sticker, so traceability right back to the field and the day it was harvested is very efficient. Bill Rowe is the Vice President of Operations for Rowe & Sons. He's the third generation to manage this operation. William G. Rowe started the business in 1927 packing citrus. My grandfather originally came from upstate New York back in the early 20s and he came down here after cutting ice on the upper Hudson River learned who the um, customers would be in New York City, came down here, started picking fruit, got into the citrus business, and eventually had a packing house. It's safe to say growing blueberries was not on William G. Rowe's original business plan, but just like their grandfather, the present generation of Rowe's have had to innovate and explore new business opportunities like blueberries. And we were looking around about six years ago and said, wow, there's this little blueberry industry starting. So we went out, we bought a field, uh, we bought the equipment, we converted our pack, a packing house over, and boom, the blueberry industry just kind of blew up around us as we were growing up with it. Now five dozen growers from around the region and the rows grow blueberries to be packaged under several different labels. The rows grow 18 acres themselves. When you think of blueberries, Florida isn't the first state that comes to mind, but it turns out that the growing season here is perfectly timed. The blueberry industry now is a year-round industry. It's North America and South America within our hemisphere. The Northern Hemisphere blueberry market starts in Florida, and it's about a six to eight week season. So we're in a very narrow little patch when there really are no other blueberries in the world that are coming in. Another not-so-typical product sowed by the rose, tangerine juice. Slightly sweeter than orange juice, the juice is sold under the Noble brand. As with many farmers today, the rows have a greater focus on environmental concerns. In their case, bottling their juices in containers made from corn-based plastics instead of petroleum which means they're completely compostable. If you put them in an active compost pile, in 60 days they're gone. The rows are proud to carry on the legacy they inherited from their grandfather. Several rows serve in the management and daily operation of the business. The latest is Bill's daughter, April. She left her job as an Atlanta investment banker to join the team. When I started from day one, I knew that they trusted me and I trusted them, and that takes a long time to develop working for another employer. 
a family farming tradition getting sweeter with each generation.